three. Those living systems is the rainforest, home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. These dense and beautiful forests cover only a tiny portion of the Earth's surface, but they contain more than half of its plant and animal species. Rainforests are also extremely rich and productive living systems, providing us with oxygen, food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, Rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. at work on the land, 
Humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we bring in the most bountiful time of the year. For some, it's difficult to imagine the holidays without winter and snow, but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. Think of holidays. You might not think of fish, but seafood is an essential part of many festive meals. In parts of southern Italy, family and friends gather once a year to celebrate Lava Jr. with a seven course seafood dinner. Tilapia, bats, and shrimp are the ones raised here. These are sustainable water systems. They are just some of the dishes served during this great meal. Today, in the United States, the tradition is known as the Feast of the Seven Fishes. Mm -hmm. 
Citrus, like the oranges grown here, are common in Florida. But in northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare in winter, they're much harder to find, making them an extra special stocking stuffer. During Chinese New Year, these vibrant fruits are given as gifts of good fortune. They say it's better to give than to receive. And in this greenhouse, we're celebrating the holidays by giving back to the land using innovative farming techniques. By recycling water, we can give plants rich nutrients. By giving plants ladybugs, we're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. And by growing ground plants vertically, we give them better protection from disease. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows a bountiful 15 tons of produce each year. When we give them, we receive them, making the most of the land's green gifts. Many of the plants you see here help spice up the holidays. The bark of cinnamon trees, like the one growing beside you, is used to make cinnamon sticks. Do you like eggnog? You can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts. These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists, farmers, and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then, will we truly be living with the land. On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope
hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratory. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the Behind the Seas walking tour. It's a chance for the whole family to get up close and personal with the plants and growing techniques in our laboratory.